Welcome back to Studio 814. We're here today at Martin Appliance, which you can find all of your luxury and standard appliances, washers, dryers, ovens, stovetops, you name it, you're going to find it here. But they also have another entity, Martin's Water Conditioning. We're here now with Kelly Woy um, of Martin's. Kelly, tell me kind of how the water conditioning part came on board to, of the Martin's franchise. Well, I think water conditioning is kind of a natural family member of appliances because so many appliances are dependent on good water. You know, you can have your standard washer and it's only going to get clothes clean as clean as your water is. Uh, dishwashers, steam ovens, coffee makers. So that's really how it came about, you know, to get our customer the maximum performance out of their appliance. Water treatment's a natural way to do it. And water is one of those tricky things that, you know, it can develop an odor. It can impact, you know, our clothing and, and the appliances or our hair. And you were talking about city water, well water, and what that brings. But you guys are actually kind of stripping some of those minerals that are bad and putting, you know, it's, it's the, putting it back to its more pure state, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it, the only way to really know, you know, you have obvious things where people have an odor in the water or it's staining and that's there, but the only way to really know if your water um, is performing the way it should is by having it tested. You know, seeing, you know, what what's actually in my water. And oftentimes when people talk about water treatment, they think about like city water where we're doing that by addition. We're adding chlorine, we're adding stuff to it to get it safe to your house. We do water treatment by subtraction, by taking that water, stripping that stuff out of the water, getting it back to its pure state. So it not only works for you in your working grade water, in your laundry and everything, but it's healthy to drink as well. And, and when customers come on board and maybe they've already had a pre-existing unit and maybe they don't really know where to go from there, you guys can help people every step of the way or even for people that want to experiment with something like this as an addition to their home. Yeah, Morgan, that's a great question. Oftentimes our customers come to us because maybe they don't have anyone to treat their existing system and it doesn't always mean, hey, you need to buy a whole new system. We have experienced staff that will work on any product and we're willing to help you out on that and we'll come out we can order parts for these products and you know again experienced staff is really what it's about yeah and you go out do that consultation for free just to test your water and see where you need to go from there we do and because we can't help people unless we know what the water is like so the water kind of tells us what to do and so we start that um, that process by testing the water for free and then you know if they don't have anything we look at install sites that kind of tells us how to do it and then we can pick from a multitude of of brands to fit what works best for that customer and you've got a variety of units here in store and one of the things that was really cool was a special water unit for you know people that really love their cars mm -hmm. streak free water yeah so so we, we call this a, a spot-free rinse. This is a, a nice little gift for guys and gals that are really particular about their, their car. So this just goes in the garage and you wash your car with it and you can rinse that car down and walk away from it without a spot on it. And very popular for, for that car buff. Yeah. Well, we're now here in the test kitchen. Kelly, you were talking about just that difference of the water conditioning and what that can do for your appliances. You're gonna show us a little bit of an experiment here. I am. So this is just an easy way to show you how the water affects your appliances. So this little top here that has a blue is treated water. And again, we're treating it by subtraction. We're pulling stuff out of the water, get it back to its natural state. This is just raw tap water. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take these samples and we're going to add this soap to it. So this is kind of pretend these are two washing machines. All right. And this is called tincture green soap. And it's we use it because it's a pure soap. There's no additives. There's nothing in it. And we're just going to take and if you look at these, they're both nice and clear water. You don't see anything in them. Right. Okay. And we're going to add two drops of soap in each one of them. And you can look at this like two drops of soap or cups or boxes or dollars of soap, however you want to look at it. So we're just going to go let's go here we go one two one two and what this soap does is soap is made to combine around stuff that's in the water and dirt in your clothes and lift it out so by putting the soap in here it will start to coat stuff that's in the water so if we just mix the soap in with the water 
you can kind of see a difference already on how much cloudier this one has gotten than this one. Okay, and if we take those same bottles, and I'm just going to shake them up here real quick. You can see how much more soap suds there are in this compared to this. So suds itself is not the determining factor on does it clean or not. But when you have enough soap in the water already to work in your clothes, that, and you see soap suds, that tells us that, okay, we have enough soap in there. And when you look at this up in the light, you see the clarity of the water. This is what gets your clothes clean. So if you have the same washer, but two different waters, this washer is going to perform so much better mm -hmm. than this washer, if that makes sense. It's a perfect ex example, and I think sometimes it's hard to picture, because you can't always see the additives and those minerals that are in the raw tap water. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly what we, we talk about. These things we can't see, that we can't smell, that we can't even taste. Well, some of these things are in there, and the only way you find that out is by getting the water tested. Yeah. What's the best way to do that if people are interested in getting a consultation or just even learning about the, the process of how to start a water conditioning unit? Yeah, so they look us up at martinwater.com. They can start right there. They can enter in that, hey, yeah, we'd like to get a, uh, some tests done. We have a uh, water treatment specialist or a water specialist come out. They test the water on site. Again, the water tells us what to do, okay? And there's often times we go out and we say, hey, things look pretty good. Okay, maybe you have a system already, it just needs tweaked, we just need to get a filter for. Um, and then there's times where we go into it, we know, okay, you turn on the faucet, you can smell it. it. It smells bad, people are like, it's staining all my clothes. So those are obvious things. But yeah, without getting it tested, you just don't know. But we're happy to come out and, and do those testing at no charge. We appreciate your time and expertise today. Right. Thank you very much, Kelly. Thanks, Morgan. And we'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Stay with us.